Hi, my name is Glenn Villar and welcome to Glenn Villar TV. Good night po, mga kababayan. Okay, tonight we're going to talk about a little uh, network tester that I got from Australia. I didn't buy this myself from Australia and I got it from my boss's husband. Um, it cost around 600 kina if you convert that from uh, Australian dollar. In peso, it's probably more than 8,000 or something. Okay, but <clears throat> although it's a bit pricey, I guarantee you that this is an okay, a good network tester. If you have an existing network tester or LAN tester, this one is a good addition. Okay, uh, later I'm gonna show you how to use this. I know that it's gonna be useful for you if you're like me, who's always uh, troubleshooting computer networks, IP cameras, or even the coaxial type CCTV. You can also use this tester to troubleshoot your cabling problems. It also has functions for telephones, for analog ones, and probably for IP, uh, POE type, um, POE enabled cables. You can also use this tester. Okay, so let's test it. Okay, so, so we have the main unit for the ProSkit MT-7029 uh, network tester. It comes with the main and the probe. It also comes with a bag. It's naturally a nice bag. Simple, but it does the job of keeping it here. The only downside is that is it kind of activates the light or the switch on the side if you if you put it like this. See. So if you put it in the bag, turn it off. and then you insert it sideways so that it does not activate the light or any other function on the probe itself. So, so how to use this thing? Okay, it's easy. First, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the network mapping. It also comes with a standard RG45 crimped network cable. It measures about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, more probably 8 inches or 7. It also comes with RG11. Okay, let's, let's open it. When you buy this thing, it comes with a box, but I removed the box already. I think I've thrown it away. So it comes with this cable here, it's RG45. It's already crimped for you. And it also comes with... <laughs> I'm going to show you how 
to use the <coughs> sorry cable mapping <coughs> function. Okay, to use the cable mapping function, uh, at the back of which this main the main unit you'll see that there's an, a port for a slot for testing RG11 and RG45 scan as well and scanning RG45 it says RG11 and RG45 because basically you can fit in two types of connectors in here the RG11 which is a smaller version of the RG45 okay so to cable map it you press the power and insert the other end of RG45 to the test port. Okay, when you press the test button here, you will see that the LED lights light up in sequence. It means that if it's in the right order from 1 to 8, it means that your cable is in good, uh, is terminated in the right way. Well, the good thing with this cable tracer or network tester is that it can also trace cables in a series of cables or in a group of cables. That's the problem if you have a lot of cable cabling going on in your, in your building, then it's very difficult to locate a cable. So for example, if you have a bundle of cable like this, or probably more, it's going to be difficult to find it. Pretend that this is not orange, and it's similar to this one. And it's going to be really, really difficult to find it. So just for the sake of this uh, review or tutorial, I'm just going to show you how it works. So connect this cable here, this orange cable, to the, sorry, scan and press the power on and you press this button here the scan when you press it again it goes to the PoE scan which means you can scan for the PoE presence in the cable it says in the manual that when you're scanning for testing for the PoE power if it doesn't have PoE running in it, it won't work. You won't hear any noise or tone. Or sometimes if it's weak, then there's no PoE or, I don't know, I haven't tested it. We'll test it later. Okay, so pretend that this is a group of cables in your building. Set the tester to scan. Yeah. And on your uh, in your remote receiver, push down the button to the bottom, to the lowest settings. See scan, it will light up. Then you can adjust the volume here. To scan, you need to press this button in the middle. If you don't hear anything, it's because probably it's not connected properly. So let's try it again. There. Okay. So if you like, uh, if you have like four cables in a bundle like in this example, you can easily track or you can easily see which cable is the one you're looking for. Just point this uh, nozzle, this tip, to the cable you're searching and press the scan button. There. It means that the cable we're looking for is this cable. Easy, yeah? You can also test for coaxial cables. If you have a coaxial cables, the old cables, uh, the cables where we use for all type of cameras. Nowadays we have IP cameras which uses 
CAT6 cables like this one or CAT5. But what about if you're using uh, coax cables like this? Okay, I'm going to use and borrow this adapter from, our, from my old tester, the LAN test cable tester. Uh, if you want to test for coaxial cables, you can use this one and this adapter as well. So let's just pretend that this is a coaxial cable. I'm going to connect it to the RG45 and the other end to, to the terminator, I'm sorry, the remote receiver. So I'm going to power on and just press the test again. You'll see that the numbers 7 and 8 will light up. Yeah, that's because the coaxial cables uh, only has two cables running inside. It's either positive or the negative cable. So if these two cables here are lighting up in succession, it means that you have a good connection. Okay, another feature that this tester has is the testing for electrical voltage. It will detect if a cable or a, uh, a circuit has the power in it, AC power. So you just set your switch here on your remote to the last button, right? The last button, the last option says flashlight. So after that, you just bring it down a bit, and you will hear a small buzzer sound, and that's where you can when you can start detecting uh, voltage running in, on a cable. So to do that, you need to press this. Okay, this printer is on and like, it has a live cable here. So we're going to test if we can detect the power running to its cable, inside its cable. There. You see that? it means that this cable is live. You cannot change the audio or the volume of it, but at least it can tell you that you probably don't want to mess around with this wire without proper equipment because it's live. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial on how to use this tool. Um, although I haven't featured the telephone function, the telephone polarity function. It's because I don't have an analog uh, telephone here. Maybe next time I'll find an analog uh, telephone and we can test it. Or, all right, so until the next vlog, see you guys.